Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. This video is specially for those civil engineering students which are working on construction site to learn something new on the site. So therefore watch this video till the end to know about basic information related civil engineering construction site. If you are new on this channel, so you may subscribe this channel and like this video because this is very interesting. If you have already subscribed to the channel, so you may like this video. The topic is basic knowledge for civil engineering students, especially which are working on construction site. Okay, so this is the topic. Okay, guys, if you are working on construction sites, so remember, guys, try to learn that the first important point is for civil engineering students, okay? That is, see the spacing of main bars and distribution bars and slab okay see the spacing of main bars and distribution bars in rcc slab according to steel structure drawing if in the drawing the spacing of main bars and distribution bars are 150 millimeter c slash c for example for main bars and distribution bars just check it by measurement tape this is very important for you don't waste your time if they already did the steel reinforcement or if they placed main bars and distribution bars on construction site so don't waste your time just take a measurement tape and check manually is the spacing of main bars and distribution bars are 150 millimeter center to center or not if that's according to steel structural drawing so that's okay if there is any problem just discuss these things with steel fixer that please do this okay by 150 centimeter 150 millimeter by 150 millimeter center to center that will be better for you because you will be busy on the construction site okay if you don't care about these things so you will face more problems and you are just wasting your time on construction site the second important point is there that is to the second one okay check the concrete cover on construction site before uh, after placing of steel reinforcement if there is main bar and our distribution bars okay check okay check concrete cover and rcc slab and floor beams check the sides of beams left side right side bottom and that will be according to the steel structure drawing which is there from 25 to 40 millimeter this is concrete cover if it is between the 25 to 40 millimeter or less than 25 millimeter so you try to correct on the construction site and you uh, discuss all these things with a steel fixer that please move the concrete or move the steel mesh inside the beam from one side to another side both sides should be 40 millimeter or from 1 to 1.5 inches as i discussed before that don't waste your time just see everything on the construction side which i'm discussing in this short video okay check the spacing of main bars and distribution bars check the concrete cover in rcc slab and floor beam okay after placing of steel reinforcement, we are providing the concrete blocks. And the concrete blocks is same like this. And some uh, time we have same like this. 
okay and some are like this okay but the depth should not be less than 25 millimeter same this one 25 millimeter these are very important things next guys here the third one is the third one before starting placing of steel reinforcement and beam or slab that is very important the shuttering or farm work you can say should be clean with oil we have different types of oil okay okay it's, it's depend on the construction side and uh, it's also the uh, depends on the budget okay so before starting placing of steel reinforcement and beam or slab the shuttering should be clean with oil otherwise you will face more problems that's why because if there uh, we have some particles on the top of the shuttering or inside the beam and you place the steel reinforcement so when you start the concrete so they will make uh, a lot of problems inside concrete with those particles which you have on the top of the shuttering so clean all these things so uh, also you can dis uh, discuss with a uh, uh, shuttering or the farm work men that please uh, before starting the steel reinforcement you should clean the farm work uh, okay so now uh, let me guide you for the fourth one the fourth one is also uh, related steel reinforcement that is for crank bar or bent up bar should be checked before starting concrete as you know guys uh, in the rcc slab or n beam we are providing crank bar or bent up bar at the distance of l by 4 are at the distance of L by 3 to resist negative bending moment. So check that if the span is for example 20 feet for the beam or for the RCC slab from one column to another column. So check as the bent up bar or crank bar is at the distance of L by 4 or not. If there is L by 4 or L by 3 according to the steel structural drawing so that's okay. If there is any problem so before starting concrete work you should fix those things which is already uh, incorrect okay so already uh, so if there is any problem for example if there is l by 2 or l by 1 or l by 5 so before starting concrete work you should check these things otherwise you will face more problems that's why because steel structure is the main bone of the building if there is residential building or commercial building okay the fifth one is guys here the fifth one okay that one is also uh, the span between two column okay the span between two column is if the span i can tell you if the span between two column is maximum maximum means for example more than 24 feet so remember guys provide inside or at the center from one column to the other column or inclined or by cross limiter you can provide the concealed beam or concealed beam or hidden beam okay according to the steel structure drawing and its stirrup spacing should be correct inside the bar should be correct according to the steel structure drawing so these are some important things which i've discussed the front of you if you are working on construction site so we have a lot of things but uh, uh, every day i'm trying to give you some uh, new information related rcc structural drawing and also uh, which can help you on the construction site so these are some important five tips which i have discussed the front of you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye